everybody. Thank you for tuning in for the final lesson of this chapter, chapter 40, lesson 40. You guys have really made me proud. You've really practiced hard, and you've got a lot out of these classes and these videos, and uh, this is a good start for you. There's lots to cover. There's a lot more material we're going to cover in uh, future courses, but you've really made a lot of progress if you've kept up and studied everything really diligently along the way. And I thought we'd spend some time in this last lesson summarizing and kind of putting everything in perspective just to show you how much you've learned and how much you've covered in these classes. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and take a look at everything that we've talked about in these last 40 lessons. It's quite a lot if you think about it and you start to see it on, uh, written out, you'll really be amazed. Starting off with the open position chords. Actually, even before that, we just talked about the names of the notes on the open strings here. But let's start a little ahead of that. We talked about the open position chords. Okay, remember the open C chord, the open G chord, the E chord, the A, and the D chord. Those were the first chords that we talked about, open position chords. And that's the basis for so much of what we, we continue to work on after that was tied into those open chords. Okay, we talked about counting, counting concepts, the counting concept of establishing a quarter note pulse and feeling eighth notes and quarter note syncopations against that quarter note pulse. We talked mostly about 4-4 four, four counting near the end of uh, some of the lessons we talked about some uh, different types of meter as 6-8 as, uh, and 12-8. So we talked about counting concepts. We also learned the roots up and down the sixth string, the fifth string, and the fourth string. And eventually, we started to dive into roots along the, even the second and the third string. But by now, you should be pretty, pretty up to speed. And of course, uh, if you were studying music reading, you'd already know this, or you'd be working on it with your notes on the uh, sixth, fifth, and fourth string. So we talked about that. OK, we talked about these open chords becoming bar chords. OK, the open E becomes a movable bar chord. The open A becomes a movable bar chord. The open C becomes a bar chord, right? The open uh, D becomes a bar chord. It looks like this or this. Okay, so we learned the bar chords that became movable shapes up and down the neck. And we tied that into the whole system called the cage system, where we spell out the word caged based off those open string chords. And it becomes the system that the whole neck is based off of C, 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 and C. These are all based off the cage system of chords. Okay, so that was a very powerful concept because it also applies to our single string uh, lessons too. So once again, any key uh, you can play up and down the neck now using the cage system. So for example, if I said let's play the key at G now, you go, no problem Dave, I can do that. Starting with the G chord here, the next G chord, the next G chord, the next G chord, and the next G chord. Okay, now we learned uh, all of those actually, not only in major, but we learned in minor as well. So don't forget about that. Okay, and then we talked about adding the second degree and the ninth to open chord, open position chord. So we took chords like C, we added the ninth to it, we took the A, added the ninth, we took the G chord added the ninth. Okay, so we learned a lot about stuff that really makes triads and open chords kind of come to life and add a little bit different color to those chords. Okay, of course we learned the concept of power chords and how cool those are. Right, we learned all about the power chord and played some cool uh, fun riffs with the power chords and we're going to keep doing uh, adding some stuff to power chords in our next lessons. Okay, we learned all the open positions of seventh chords too. We learned open positions of major seventh chords. Right, we learned uh, we learned G major seventh down here, D major seven. All these are great open position major seventh chords. We also learned those as dominant seventh chords. Remember the open position dominant chords. are effective in a lot of situations where we still want to have that open ringing sound down here uh, but we want seventh chord to add it to that open position okay we also learned uh, major six chords and we learned the, the 
kind of the jazzy big band sound and bluesy sound that those major six sounds give us and how those really are great for combinations with major six and dominant ninth chords we learn dominant ninth as well dominant ninths are fancier dominant chords you take a, John, a chord like this and you add the ninth to it and you get a lot more sophistication to a dominant seventh chord so we learned about that and applied those to some blues progressions okay uh, we also learned five positions of major dominant and minor seventh and that tied into the cage system so we had the cage system of major chords and minor chords but we also learned how that applies to major sevenths in five positions and dominant sevenths and finally minor sevenths okay so that was that in itself was a lot of information, just the five positions of major, dominant, and minor.